In the meantime, ending insecurity, banditry, insurgency, kidnapping and other problems faced in Nigeria at the moment should be a collective responsibility of everyone, either in government, private or religious organizations. This forms the subject of discourse at the 22nd Annual Women's Week of NASFAT, the National of NASFAT, pardon me, the National Chief Missioner, Nasrullah for T Society of Nigeria, NASFAT, Abdulaziz Unike, while addressing the Guardian, said it has become imperative for the Islamic organization to campaign against any acts of insecurity in the country. We therefore charge Muslim women to see themselves as role models who can change society for the better. The National Women Affairs Secretary, Nasfat Subewat Kukwalati, said the essence of uh, Women's Week is to assist, sensitize, and encourage Muslim women to be up and doing their responsibility towards Islam and the society. One of the things that Islam has come to provide is security. And if there is no security, all other acts of worship will not be achieved, will not be will not be performed. Without security, you can't go on art. Without security, you can't do sakha. Without security, you can't perform the lot. Without security, you can't do you can't do anything. And that is what I said. If you are asking people to come and promote Islam, you are able to live a, a good life and they are instructing the land, we are just joking. And that's why we say you continue to campaign. You continue to campaign against violence, you continue to campaign against security. And that's why to, this year our women are choosing that right topic, that right team, and the insecurity. And we continue to lend our voice to it. We continue to support the call against violence, against insecurity, until peace, tranquility, and security return to the land. We must be able to sustain the security and peace in our country. Without having peace in our country, I'm afraid we cannot achieve much as a country. And we are all being affected women. Let's rise up and do our responsibilities and let us talk to our husbands, our young ones, so that they also know that they're not, we're not supposed to create problems of all this insecurity in our country.